Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, this is going to be a short flight from L Los Angeles, sorry, Las Vegas International, that's Macron International, to Los Angeles International. Uh, this one's going to be a tutorial flight. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of videos online, but nothing to my satisfaction, so I'm going to do this video. So, let's roll. This is Delta Airlines, and we'll be departing from 19 hour runway that is right here so let's go for the startup uh, connect the ground power uh, let's turn the battery on and standby power to auto turn this knob to the battery so you can see the battery consumption here is zero right now because the ground power is connected well let's turn on the APU so this uh, turns right here when the APU turns on when it goes to 8 uh, the lights gonna pop up here and then turn the APU generator on after the light turns on right here so I'm not gonna go through any checklist right here but uh, let's do uh, turn the yaw dampers on uh, fuel pumps on then the window heats on probe heat uh, the hydraulic pumps of course and the APU plate and the plates alright uh, seat belts to auto and um, this is this goes to steady the position and stroke alrighty uh, let's turn on the sorry File the flight plan. I already have the flight plan with me. Uh, you can always go to the site onlineflightplanner.org. That's the best one, I guess. So let's go right here. You can click here and type in. So this makes it a lot easier. KLAS is Las Vegas, and KLAX is your destination, Los Angeles. Uh, this one's not needed actually, but just for fun, write anything. Uh, this is the waypoint here to type in here so ours is the Hector Echo Charlie that's the only waypoint because this is a very short flight and let's go to climb the transition altitude for this Las Vegas International is 4000 so the, this is basically the altitude after which you keep your barometer to standard Using altitude should be 18,000 I guess because it won't allow more because it's a short flight so and then we go to the departure we're going to 19 hour runway uh, what are the seats Nineteen left okay. yeah 8 GC this one's right here We'll be landing on. Actually, we got four runways on the same direction, so we can pick any. Let's go to 25, 24 left. We are going to do the river approach. River 3 approach. Oh, sorry. We have to select the stars first. River 3 approach, HEC. The Hector Echo Charlie. 24 left. And. We were right here, so and execute. Uh, just f uh, forget about it. We can uh, manage it with the vertical speed of ours. Uh, you also want to check the legs if for any discontinuity. Yeah, that's right here. So that flight plan is not connected. Alrighty, that's done here. Uh, you can turn this to plan and right here you can see your flight plan here this is a step uh, that means uh, this CTI you see here is gonna turn on and you can see which waypoint is where just to make sure everything is good here yeah 
Yep, perfect. Everything is cool. Okay. Uh, I don't prefer f uh, filing a flight plan because it's uh, quite buggy. The X plane has not updated it yet. So, we just want to make the autopilot our own. Uh, we are climbing to 18,000. The flight plan shows here like uh, 2681 flight level 70 on the particular waypoint. This 30,000. But this uh, autopilot, sorry, the altitude settings in 737, uh, it's a uh, takes like forever to go up so we might want to take it to 18,000 right away uh, you can see it takes like forever uh, we want to Flight altitude here. We are gonna pop in here. So it's 18,000. And for the landing altitude, you can always check here. Uh, go to the index and arrival data. So you can see your frequency here, your runway elevation right here, and everything. So it's 113 feet. So it's gonna be 100 right here because it goes to 50. So 100 right here. Uh, Everything is cool. Now let's turn on the engine. So this is just a, now let's turn on the engine. Uh, usually you turn on the engine while pushback, but we don't really need pushback because we just want to go here. Let's turn and go here right there. So we don't need a pushback right away. Just push to reset. Uh, turn on the engines. Uh, everything is cool. So. Right engine first. As soon as this goes to 20, this is the fuel cutoff. So, uh, as soon as this goes to 20, you just let the fuel go in. Yeah, there you go. You can see the fuel coming in. After this turns on, yeah, you can see right here. Explain has done a commendable job on this graphics thing. Alrighty. The second engine turns on very fast because it uses the bleed air from the first one. So you can see right here, it turns on very fast. There you go, the fuel comes in. This red light here shows the brake is on, parking brake. Okay, everything seems good. Well, then the generator comes on, APU generator turns off, APU bleed goes off, and APU itself goes off. And the ground power disconnected. We don't need this actually right now, but uh, let's just turn on for a sec. It's fine. We are ready for taxi, so taxi lights on, runway turn off on, oh, it's not yet on, okay. It's daytime, so we don't need logo, but just turn it on, I like the lights. All the lights comes on. Okay, seems good, uh, turn the lights on. There are the lights here. The bright, I like bright. Uh, some of you might see I'm changing the views. So if you want to lock in some views, just like go here and press Control and any numpad key you want to assign to this view. And then afterwards, if you want to go to this view directly, you just press the key. I have Control 5, so I just press 5 to go to that view and zero to go here you can use the comma and put your keys to zoom in and zoom out so that's it well let's go 
we turn the brakes off If you file a flight plan, uh, it will show you the taxiways, but we don't do the flight plan yet, so it won't show us a taxiway. So we might want to go there manually. The flight plan is quite buggy because it keeps on saying the squawk code repeatedly. It won't let you allow the check-in in the controller sometimes. So lots of problems. So if you have flight plan ready in your FMC, so it's fine if you don't file a flight plan. So this one right here is 19R Sorry 19 left I think We will be departing from here You always wanna hold short here but Because we don't using a flight plan right now We don't have to hold short So the takeoff checklist turn this auto brakes to RTO that's a rejected takeoff so if you some problem happens if you throttle down so the brakes are automatically gonna turn on the landing lights comes on turn off goes off and taxi goes off or taxi remains on for now and flaps to 5 you can see the flaps right here it's going 1 2 and 5 There you go. And we are ready to go. Turn the legs on. Alrighty. Keep it to 2000. Uh, we'll be following the L now. And the speed we're gonna turn on later on. You might want to control your plane, the yaw, because when that engine comes on, it has a tendency to go left or right depending on which engine pulls the air faster. So, rotate speed for 747, sorry, this is 77, is 140 knots. And rotate. Positive rate, gear up. Flaps comes on. Uh, the speed comes on and autopilot engage. So that is it. That's all what you have to do for the takeoff. And autopilot is going to handle the rest. Skip it to 30 and turn it to 200 for the vertical speed. There you go, nice climb. This is the best game for the flight simulator. I have played all the other games like P3D and FSX, but this one's the best. You see the air coming on, the graphics are very good.
this one right here behind the knob is your bank angle you might want to keep it to 15 this is 20 I guess because if you turn on more uh, the plane won't be stabilized you might need it sometimes but the 20 is the best it will keep your plane stabilized we are below 10,000 feet so let's speed up to 250 knots and landing lights turns on until 10,000 feet it will show you right here which waypoint you are in this thing and the nautical miles until the next waypoint and also the speed you want here and the flight level so we'll be climbing to 180 flight level 180 until HEC Some of you might wonder what computer or something I'm using. Well, I'm using Alienware 17R3 laptop, but I have it connected a uh, Alienware graphics amplifier with GTX 1080 in it. It's a Zotac 1080 Amp Extreme Edition. Well, we hit the 10,000 feet so let's turn off the landing lights and taxi lights and increase our speed to Mach 755 this is the Mach speed that you want to go uh, well the Mach speed is not going to be same on every altitude uh, like it might differ it might be 300 nautical miles here and it might be 250 at a higher altitude because it uses the true head speed let's increase our climb rate you see it's still mark 550 or something and it's 300 already I like flying Boeing 747 but it has a lot of bugs with the autopilot in it so just waiting for the X-plane to get an update. We will speed up our navigation as soon as we hit flight level 180. For the approach thing, you guys might wonder what I've done. So, for the approach, you just have to pop in the ICAO code for the particular airport, like KLX for the Los Angeles International, 
and write arrival charts so it might give you the charts for the particular airport and the ILS runways why we are going up okay. so for the approach uh, you want to see like we have done ILS 24 left I think so for the particular uh, runway you have to choose the chart and see what kind of seats and stars they have and you have to flight the flight plan according to it I will post a, a video for that so let's speed up is control T for the time speed and alter T for the ground speed you might want to check constantly up to what flight level you have to go well this was quite buggy you don't have to climb above your designated altitude we will be landing to 2000 sorry 2200 this is just a go around thing if you fail to land so we might wanna keep our altitude to 2200 because it takes forever to go down so we'll just keep it down and hit the, the uh, vertical speed whenever we want to descend there you go We start descent as soon as we hit here. Golf Romeo Alpha Mike Mike. So we start descending. And decrease our speed. I kept my graphic settings on maximum with 8x the anti-aliasing
so we are at 16,000 on rust yep three nautical miles to go there we are 16,000 so we'll start descending at a higher rate now because we are in approach mode now We have to descend at quite a higher speed here. So we'll just go at 1500 feet per second and turn on our speed brakes. We'll turn off our speed here. Okay. We are in normal speed now. We don't want to miss our approach, so let's go to 1800 feet per second. Just to be safe if you have flight plan on with the ATC so they might give you the directions at what flight level to be and here we are doing it all manually so you have to manipulate uh, nice sceneries explain We are good here. We might want to slow down our speed on here. Let's slow down our speed to 240 knots. Yep, we are going good. We'll be hitting our final approach um, here. If you turn on the V now, uh, it's automatically gonna manage your altitude, your speed according to the FMC. So you don't have to do anything with the autopilot panel. Just if you turn on the V now, it's gonna manipulate all your things. Well, this area is quite buggy. I never get these low frame rates. Standard altimeter. Yep, 
if you are disengage your autopilot is right here everything is gonna disengage or you can simply press Z key on your keyboard so or we are already under 10,000 feet so we might want to turn our landing lights on and taxi lights on and flaps to, to oh it's not here okay turn on the speed brakes to cut it to 240 knots and we'll set up first flap Uh, auto brakes to 2 and yeah of course you wanna enter your ILS frequency it's 111.70 so this one right here is already active so you don't have to worry about it let's turn our first flap on Yep, there you go. You can always turn on the taxi lights after you land. Uh, that's the thing that first officer do, but because I am the only one we are gonna landing and managing all the stuff so I just turn on the taxi lights just for the easiness because the taxi lights are in the landing gear so after you turn on your landing gears they are gonna come on and these are the runway turn off lights so these are basically the lights so we are hitting two to two zero so these lights are the lights uh, which are on the sides of the landing gear uh, we show you the taxi way when to turn because the taxi lights just show you the front way and the runway turn off lights are going showing the left and right way of where you can turn okay there we go Let's slow down. Oh, we are down early. Nine nautical miles early. <laughs> I hope we don't pop up here. We are quite high. So, let's go. Turn the flaps on just for stability of the plane. Flaps to five. Is this Hollywood? Uh, no. You might want to bring your speed brakes off. Uh, just arm the speed brakes for landing. You can see right here, speed brake arm. That's for landing. Press three once after you turn off all the speed brakes. So that's gonna come on. We'll hit our approach here as soon as we hit here. The next waypoint. That is Bravo Oscar Umbrella Bravo Yankee. This one right here shows you the altimeter from the current ground scenery. This is your altimeter according sorry, this is the altitude according to your altimeter. That's the standard altimeter right here. And this one is the current ground altitude. This is about the sea level and this is about the current ground. So we're gonna hit approach in two nautical miles. Let's slow down to 200 because we are a little fast for this approach uh, we might want to hit 180 turn on the flaps
Flaps turn. The runway should be visible by now. Uh, I turn in here. Somewhere here. Oh, we'll see. Alright, VOR and approach mode on. So, this is your altitude. So, when this pink light comes here, then you're gonna approach, you're gonna descend. Oh, it's right here. There you go. Oops. Yeah, we're gonna land here. Speed brakes on. Flaps to 10, auto brakes to 2. Landing lights on. Uh, you can just turn on right here. We are going to bring the landing gears down as soon as we start descending and we are straight on our approach which we are right now We'll be hitting our approach quite soon. As you can see, this is going down. As soon as it hits here, we're gonna descend. Uh, we'll slow down to 160. Well, let's go down 140, 38. Okay. Bring down our flaps 25. We have to bring it down to 40. It's quite windy right here. Uh, we have started descending. It's quite fast descent, so it might go up and down sometimes. Speed brake is on. Okay, everything looks good. Landing gears down. The pilots usually disengage the autopilot as soon as they hit like 300 or 400 feet above the ground. We are gonna do the same and then do the manual landing. Sometimes you mess up but as you practice, if you are a beginner as you practice it's gonna be a left hand game for you. We are at good descent rate. As you can see, the taxi lights and the turn up lights are on. These are the landing lights. Yep. 
Oh, a plane without a pilot. That's funny. At 200 feet, we are gonna take the controls in our hands. So press Z and the autopilot is disconnected. You might want to check your speed, adjust your throttle accordingly and also your descent rate. Just shut up. Shut up. There's your reverse thrust coming. You might want to release your reverse thrust as soon as you hit 17 knots because it might damage your engines. Brakes come on. You can turn on the taxi base here. The ATC is gonna guide you through, but uh, if we, as we don't have ATC, we'll go manually somewhere and park a plane. A nice tutor flight for a beginner, and as a tutorial flight, is very good. These are the heavy gates, I believe here. We'll park. It's our but <laughs> park anywhere. There you go. We are here. I like this for Emirates. Well, you can always call the ground service by pressing Shift G. You see the ground service. Sorry, here. we don't have any service trucks here. Why? This airport. Okay, I'll show you how to turn off the engines. You can cut off the fuel here. So the engine's gonna turn off automatically. Turn off the lights. Alrighty. Turn on the engine generators, the fuel pumps off. Pumps off, this thing's off. Probe heat off, window heat off. Everything that you have turned on goes off and your temper is off. Of course the battery goes off. Standby power to auto. There you go. Cold and dark again. So thank you for watching. I hope you have learned from this video. Subscribe me and keep liking the video. Comment if you have any doubts. Thank you.